So for 2019, we've got five big predictions. The first is that data and ethics and technology and ethics is going to become a concern for every business. We know that consumers increasingly are finding out about how their data is used and are very worried about it. And actually the decision will not be, you know, is this a legal thing to do? It actually will be for businesses, is it the right thing to do? And this new concept of how to use technology ethically will start to become one which is discussed not just within legal teams but also within boards. I think the second prediction is that cyber security is going to become business's biggest regulatory risk. Not just because of the regulatory fines we're seeing in this space, 4% of global turnover, which by the way I think will crystallise this year in some really significant fines for businesses, but also that we're seeing state actors use cyber as a weapon of war, a relatively cheap weapon of war, which can exact really huge harm on businesses, on many hundreds of millions of people. And I think this year we're going to see some very scary stories about what cyber can do to businesses. And I think perhaps it could even bring a business to its knees. So the third prediction is AI. We know that AI is all around us. And Stephen Hawking said that AI is either the best or worst thing ever to happen to humanity. And I think in 2019, we're going to see some really interesting use cases, but also examples of where businesses are getting AI really wrong. Lawmakers are very focused on this. They're saying, for example, that you need to have a code of conduct for your coders, that you need to have an off switch if AI goes wrong. And that means new control structures, again, which legal teams have to be very involved with. The fourth prediction is 5G. This is really going to be the year where 5G is going to be turbocharged, a new way, a new fast way of delivering digital services, which will really open up concepts of the Internet of Things, which until now I think have been slightly abstract. Again, particularly for telecoms businesses, huge opportunities in that space. But then it raises questions of security, particularly for our homes, if we have connected fridges, connected televisions, what does that mean for in state intrusion into our lives and for cyber attacks and data security and personal security? So 5G again prompting some really interesting questions there. And lastly, I would love to think that 2019 would be the year when women really step up on the world stage when it comes to technology and get the proper profile that they deserve, that actually the diversity in tech issues that we've been discussing for so long and lobbying for change in relation to will actually start to be unlocked and we see more women studying technology at universities and actually getting high profile roles in Silicon Valley and beyond. And I'm, I'm not a pessimist on this, I think huge work has been done and there's uh, a lot of optimism actually for 2019 in making sure that uh, women take these board level roles in relation to tech and really start to drive the change.